going on here. It's Tuesday, July 23rd. We are in the hospital together and we just got checked and we are a one centimeter dilated. And I don't even know what the string was called, but they put a string in her to release hormones to induce labor, so hopefully that works. See you guys later. Monitoring is not fine, baby looks good, you're not in labor. Um, so um, at 5 o'clock tonight, call us back. Do you have the hospital number or no? Just the one number I called, but I had to like, ask to be transferred up here. Okay. Do that again? Yeah, actually, if you call the hospital, and then I'll give you the extension. Oh. Yeah, because I just called and asked for so just call the hospital number when it asks for an extension. It's 42929. Okay, that'll be the triage nurse, whoever. Oh, it'll be us, actually. Me and Mary Ellen are here, the, here till 7. So we'll ask you a bunch of questions, okay? Um, so you can shower, you can, just when you're, after you go pee and whatever, if you have a shower, make sure you're you know, you didn't pull your ribbon out, okay? Um, eat normally, have normal activity until labor begins. So you should come to the hospital if your contractions are regular, occurring every five minutes, or become stronger, last longer than one and a half minutes. If your water breaks, if you have any bleeding, like a menstrual period, you might have a little bit because he's examined you, put the cervical in, but if you have a, a, like a flow, you should come back, okay? If your baby's not moving as usual, or if you think that the cervical's fallen out, or you just don't feel well, and I know you don't feel well already. That's what. Um, and I know you feel unwell already, but if it changes, okay. Um, so when you call us back, we're gonna ask you a bunch of questions. Basically, a bunch of these questions, okay. And then um, if you're okay at five, then we'll just we just tell you to call back at bedtime right before you go into bed. And let us know what's happening. And then if nothing happens, and you wake up in the morning, come back at eleven o'clock. The on-call doctor will tomorrow morning. We'll assess you again, see if you need another Cervidel or see if you can be admitted. Okay? So that's for you. Any questions? No? You're good. Okay. What's going on everyone? We are back at home finally. And uh, so if you didn't catch that part that the nurse was just telling us there in the video, uh, what they did is they uh, inserted a Cervidil uh, string. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically a string with a little uh, bead on the end. And what it does is it, uh, it releases hormones into her body, which is um, basically the hormone if you're pregnant and uh, you get your nipples stimulated. And uh, what it does is it creates contractions and also opens up your cervix to uh, start to induce labor. So basically what we're doing now is we're playing the waiting game. Uh, every couple of hours she has to call into the hospital, answer a couple questions for them. And then if they see a concern for her to go back, they'll call her back. And then uh, basically that's when they'll start the labor process. Or they're waiting for her contractions to reach about five minutes apart and then roughly a minute, minute and a half in length. And then also then she would go back. Or if her water ends up breaking, she will also go back. For any of those reasons, she would be ending up back at the hospital tonight. But if none of that happens, what they're going to do is they're going to wait 24 hours. So we'd go back in tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock a.m. And what they're going to do then is if she's 3 centimeters dilated, 
they will uh, start putting in Pitocin, which will induce labor and uh, possibly do another sweep. But um, if she's not three centimeters dilated, what they're going to do is they're going to remove the cervidil that's inside of her. They will take that one out, put a new one in, and basically start the whole process again. And basically what they're trying to do is um, start her dilation because when we went in uh, this morning, she was only about a centimeter dilated. So now they're trying to get her up to about three centimeters so they can start using Pitocin and basically start her labor. So uh, until that happens, I will see you guys uh, probably tomorrow, depending on what happens tonight. I mean, she could go into the hospital anytime now. So basically we're playing the waiting game and when we are back at the hospital or when anything important is going on, I will let you guys know as soon as possible.